Which team wins the AFC North? Oh, I took Baltimore in the preseason, so I I'm going to stay with Baltimore. Um, my big question with Baltimore, you and know – With that defense? Yeah, so, Molly, we were doing this on NFL Live yesterday. This, this kind of shocked me. So, the Baltimore uh -huh. Ravens got founded in 1996. And, Stephen A., you're not ready for this, but I'm still going to trust that you're good enough at your job. If I said Baltimore Ravens, what is the one, of the, the one of the first things that come into your mind when you think about their football team? What's one of the first things that comes to your mind? Defense. Defense, Defense, right? Ray Lewis, Ed Reed and the crew. Absolutely. A defense that, like, pressured you and blitzed you. I remember playing against – this team in like the 2010 world where let me you not like forget God, Terrell Suggs. Yeah, please, Suggs, 100%. And you, hello, Dinata, and you'd be like, please, God, don't blitz us yes. because they were so good at it. When Baltimore blitzes right now, they are no longer the Baltimore Ravens. They are one of the bottom teams in the NFL. They give up more 20 yard plays than basically anybody when they blitz. They give up like 70% completion. They're bottom 10 in the NFL. They give up 10 yards completion. They're bottom three in the NFL when it comes to that. When they blitz, and that's shocking to me because that's who the Ravens are. So the Ravens got to get that fixed to win the AFC North. There is no question about that, okay? That, that's got to change. And they got to get better communication. They got to stop the freelance. They got to get more discipline. And they're individually talented enough. The reason that I'll still ride with the Ravens is this. Cleveland's been impressive. Jacoby Brissett's played good football. But if we want to talk about the Ravens being bad on defense, my goodness, go watch the Browns. And the Browns are shocking because – Individually, they got good players, and they should not be as bad as they are. Both teams have had defensive collapses. I believe a little bit more in Lamar Jackson and that offense than Jacoby Brissett right now, while Jacoby has played well. I know Deshaun Watson is coming. Pittsburgh's not in this conversation. So then that leads us to Cincinnati. Cincinnati's got the defense that I trust the most right now. I believe they've given up one touchdown in the last 24 drives. We just talked about Joe Burrow, their talent. The offensive line's still an issue to me, and it shouldn't be. So the reality is every team's got their flaw. I just think that because I trust Lamar and their offense and their unique personnel a little bit more, and I believe that their defensive quarter, Mike McDonald, is going to get their defense settled, I'm going to stay with the Ravens. Oh, Lord. You went on that long soliloquy, you know, took up about just two minutes of our you. time that we can never that we can never I get back in life. You. The point that let, let, let me tell you why it wasn't an education. You're because welcome. what the real issue is is that you were in there, you were not admitting. See, I have the decency. Here the decency, gonna, the professionalism. You gotta pat yourself on the back here. The respect. The respect, Dan Olavsky, to acknowledge that guess what? When I can, I watch NFL Live all the time. Why didn't you Thank just you. admit? That everything you said, you learned from listening to Stephen A. talk about the Baltimore Ravens the last week. They're trash defensively, okay? You go on that all that damn soliloquy. I don't know what the hell wrong with you. The Baltimore Ravens are trash. Did you not watch me? But they shouldn't be. And I don't be. mean the offense. Hold on, let me, fin let me finish. The offense, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm not talking about Lamar Jackson. I'm not talking about DuVernay. I ain't talking Ava DuVernay. I'm talking Devin DuVernay. I'm not talking about you, my brother. You can ball. I'm not talking about you, Bateman. You can ball. J.K. Dobbins, it's good to see you back, my brother. Handle your business. Mark Andrews, he's been a stuff for years. I ain't talking about the offense. I'm not talking about the coaching of John Harbaugh, even though he should have went for each other to kick the field goal instead of going for the damn touchdown, okay? I still think he should have kicked the field goal. I'm not talking about you because your reputation precedes you. I'm talking about specifically the defense of the Baltimore Ravens. You are trash. Y'all stink. Garbage. Straight garbage, okay? That's what it is. And we're going to say it what it is. That's why I got the Bengals taking the AFC North. Because the Baltimore Ravens, I, I, they, have, they have shamed the legacy of the Baltimore Ravens. Gray Lewis, I mean, he ain't passed away yet, thank the good Lord. He's damn near ready to, watching this defense that he can't recognize. Right? I mean, we looking at Ed Reed, a.k.a. Moses, because that's the look he's trying to adapt over the last years. Ed Reed knows I love my brother. I you know that's why I call him. I call him Moses, okay? This dude is ready <laughs> to sit Moses. up there and turn over in his figurative grave because of how trashy they look. They are straight garbage. They, are, have, they are, have embarrassed Ozzie Newsom. They have embarrassed Rex Ryan. They have embarrassed John Harbaugh. They have embarrassed the players that I mentioned and then some to go out there with a defense that's, that, that is, is that horrible. They're awful, okay? And because they're awful, 
That's why the Bengals are probably going to take this division. Unless defensive players on the Baltimore Ravens remember what they're supposed to stand for, what they're supposed to be all about, because they are trash. People out here all over the place are, are lamenting some of the economic issues that they have in the city of Baltimore. Guess what? The Baltimore defense is what you should be lamenting as well. They are trash. Horrible. And they better get their acts together. It's really that simple. It really is. They can Anybody can pass on them, Dan Olosky. And that's all you had to say. The Bengals are going to win the division because of that reality. Period. Not the Steelers? The that's Steelers. the reason why. Not the Steelers? Oh, no, no, no. The Steelers no. are... No. The Steelers... Okay. No, no, no. The Steelers okay. are collectively bad because they don't have a quarterback and an offensive line. That's their issue. Najee mm -hmm. Harris can ball. The receivers you have can ball. The mm -hmm. defense, the okay, T.J. Watt is out. I mean, that's um, a, that's a, I'm saying, that's a big loss. Yeah. But they, Hit. we look at their personnel, and they don't have it. We didn't expect the Baltimore Ravens to be here's, this bad here's for what the I last say. 20 weeks. Here's what I would say about the, the Ravens' defense, though. I disagree with you that they just are straight-up trash. I just don't think that they I put the two pass. halves together. Against the pass. They got to put two good halves together. They played good against Miami for a half. They played good against Buffalo for a half. They just got to figure out a way to put really? it That's all together. That's, right. That's what we're doing. It's the truth. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.